Hello, my friends, and welcome back to the Long Dark Experiment on our interloper playthrough as I'm fumbling with torches here. Wow, we are just picking up right where we left off from the last episode, guys. This is, uh, I believe it's episode 17 um, on our interloper experiment. And uh, fortunately, we just got warm. We got some tea cooked up. Uh, I'm going to do a little bit of billy goating. Because we want to get down to the floor of the uh, forlorn musk egg here. And try to make our way to Trapper's Cabin before the weather changes too badly or if we get too cold or I see something shiny in the distance I want to go check out. Can I get down here? So we'll find out. Oh, uh oh, this looks kind of scary. Um, doing good, Astrid. Great. She did that great. Okay, what is the time, though? It's getting kind of late. Got to get a move on, guys. So after the last few episodes, this is kind of the culmination of all that, where we have... Uh, oh, man. Please don't make me go in the water. I'm going to get a sprain here, aren't I? Um, we did the forge, we got the arrowheads, we got the knives, we got the saplings that are cured, I even got some uh, deer hides, and now we are heading back to put it all together, put all the puzzle pieces together, and hopefully by the end of this episode, whoa, no, 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 I've done that before, thank you very much, no, 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 not today, thank you. Um, hopefully by the end of this episode, we're going to have a bow in our hands. This is my hope. And uh, some arrows as well. I hope I picked up the toolbox. I don't remember if I picked up the toolbox. I don't really want to check right now. I'm definitely not going to go back for it. It's not that big a deal. Oh, gosh. No, 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 no. Um, I think we do have a toolbox back at Trapper's, I do believe. Are you going to let me do this? I cross here. I think we left, I think we have at least a blue colored um, simple tools back at Trapper's, ca Trapper's cabin. Um, and I think I did bring the, the other toolbox. I just don't want to check. Hey, Wolfie. And hopefully I've got enough torches to uh, get us where we're going. You know, maybe I should drink another tea before they get cold. Are they already cold? They're already cold. I do have the thermos. Hey, look at that. Oh, that is great. Um, let's drink that. Thank you, thermos. We're going to need... The oh, no, 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 no. Too busy checking out my thermos. Uh, we can't get a fire started with the sun. I'd really prefer to have a lit torch as we go. At least until we exit the uh, Forlorn Muskeg region. All right, now, the next question is, where do we go from here? Like, uh, well, I, I guess that's kind of premature to ask. we got to get our... Am I out of sticks? For real? All right, let's just hurry and get a torch lit, then. This is a catastrophe, guys. When am I ever out of sticks? Okay, I want to stay close to the coastline here, so I don't get lost. don't really know this area over here all that well, but if I stay by the water, then I know where I am. There's poachers right there. We just need to make our way up to the train tracks. 
And I wouldn't say no to some cattails along the way. I think we're getting... Uh, last time I checked, wasn't it like 15? 15 cattails or something? Alright, I'm going to check. Cattails we have... Uh, where's my cattails? 12. I have 12 cattails. And where's the tool? I got the red tool. Nice. Okay. Quality tools. Uh, those tools are going to decrease the crafting time of our arrows. I don't see any cattails. Uh, I might see the bear. I can't tell if it's a tree stump or a bear off the way. It's you guys wouldn't be able to see it. I don't think. It's like way over there, but I think it was a tree stump anyway. I don't know. Could be the bear. Hopefully it is a bear, because then he'd be way over there. Okay. I'm always kind of cautious coming over these blind hills like this. Don't hear anything. Now, didn't we leave something by the train tracks? I think I did. Don't remember what it was, but I think I, I think I left something by the train tracks. There it is, right there. Bullets and some water. Okay. If you're new to the channel, guys, welcome. So glad to have you. I just, I just can't believe how much the channel has grown in the last little while. And if you want to be one of the first 500 subscribers, now's your chance. It is Spaces are filling up quickly as we are fast approaching 500 subscribers. You can lock your place in now and say that you... You can tell your grandkids, you see that guy with... 503 subscribers? Well, I was one of the first 500. Um, gosh, what was I about to say? Oh yeah, if you're new to the channel, welcome. And uh, let me tell you about this playthrough because it is interloper, but as you notice, I just picked up some bullets, right? Um, that Those bullets are just dead weight. They're of no use to us because we're not allowed to use them. Even if we did find a gun, which we haven't, we haven't found a gun yet. And I'm, I'm actually hoping we do find a gun. But anyway, if, even if we did find a gun, and even if we did have all these bullets, we can't use them. Because the rule is we have to get to level 5 archery skill before we can use guns. And if you're familiar with uh, the Long Dark, you know that by the time you reach level 5 archery... You're probably just better off carrying the bow with you anyway. Um, I currently have a Stalker run that I'm playing. And of course on Stalker you get guns and you can also craft the bow. And I've actually just opted to carry the bow. Because it's just so heavy carrying... Boy, it'd be three guns I guess. You got the, uh, you got the rifle, the revolver, and a distress pistol. So I just opted to carry the distress pistol and a bow, because, I mean, a rifle is really heavy. And the revolver, I mean, all the ammunition, everything, it just adds up. So that's just kind of like a self-imposed rule to uh, try to keep the game as difficult as possible, as long as possible, but still have the option later on in the game. Uh, we do want to level up all of these skills to level 5. And so uh, this way we, we have a chance to use the guns. Okay, I would like to get some birch bark. Keep an eye. Is that some right there? Keep an eye out for some birch bark. Shiny things. To chase after. And 
And uh, looking at our health, looks like I have been taking a hit on health. But uh, that that's all going to change. When we get to the trappers, we're going to heal up because we're going to going to spend some time crafting. Just keeping an eye out for wolves. Oh wait, did I just see a piece of... Out of the corner of my eye? I think I saw some birch, uh, birch bark. Yeah, there's some right there. Okay. Look at this sapling. And you know what, guys? I just thought of this. This is like coming all together. It's perfect. Um, we got all these saplings, plus we got all the deer hides. And we could craft up the bow, and we could find a moose in the area. Hopefully. And craft up the Travois carrier thing. And then just haul all the moose meat. Man, this is working out so nice. Now, what are you guys going on about? Is that uh, Max's last stand? That's probably what they're going on about. Okay, I don't want to scare the bear or surprise the bear coming over this hill, so I'm going to try to play it safe. This is our last torch. I don't think I ever did find more sticks either. Okay, I don't see the bear. deer or something. Okay, now the moose can be in this area. So try to be careful. Might run a little bit. See if we can use this torch before it goes out. I don't think I'm going to make it. Alright, we'll start it right here. If I'm quick, I can, I can grab on, another fire. torch. I think. I think I can. Okay, Perfect. click. Oh, I can't take another torch. But I have five minutes. Let's harvest this up. Add that to the fire. And now we can take a torch. Did I place rabbit traps? No, I didn't. Okay. Alright, hey guys, it's good to be back. Let's take that. Let's get a bite to eat. Right. Um. Oh, let's drop. Sorry. Yeah, I got too much. Okay. Um. I think I want to make a fire out here and just finish cooking up this meat. And I don't have any fuel. Alright, let's hurry and harvest up these. Yeah, fuel might be a problem, actually. Okay, sorry, I was just thinking there for a minute. Um, 
like we do have one piece of wood here. Hey, we got some sticks. Okay, nice. And I got the crate we could harvest. Let's get these hides dropped really quick. That guy who drank his own pee doesn't seem so crazy right now. All right. Get a fire going. Definitely need to grab some more torches, and I need to let's cook up these uh, pieces of meat. Come on, little fire! Come on! We're gonna need we're gonna need all this meat to craft. Oh yeah, that's a good one. Oh, it's getting dark out here. Look for shelter. Those are tiny pieces. Oh, I hear an aurora coming. Let's drop the meat. It's too bad we don't have any more meat. Like uh dear feel numb. Yeah, this meat's not gonna last long. Alright, let's do a liter of water. Speaking of water, let's get a drink. Yeah, I can just hear the faintest hint of an aurora coming. Which actually, guys, um, we might be able to use that to craft during the night. Okay. I think I want to take some torches. But first, let's check out um, how you craft these up. It's good we're spending time outside so we don't get cabin fever. Okay, now as far as torches go. Um, let's harvest this. What was that? Why did she say... <gasps> Here it comes. That's beautiful. Uh, okay. Water, six minutes. Um, let's take some torches. I just realized I'm going to need some sticks to get some fire hardened arrows. What is that sound? weird sound. Might just be like the storm coming in or something. I don't know, that was weird. Okay, water's done. I wonder if I can drop any of this gear. Actually, let's place this back. Do some more water. Hopefully I have enough time to craft 
fire hardened arrows. It's gonna take five sticks. Okay, nice. I'm gonna need those. Okay, that's it. Fire just blew out. And let's go inside. See if we can, we can craft. Hopefully we've got enough light. Wait, 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 wait. I remember Arca... Um, sorry, I was going to say Arcus. It's not Arcus. Um, Archimedes. Archimedes. Archimedes was telling me that you can't craft in here because there's no lights. Which is why he likes the camp office, because during an aurora you can craft in the camp office, but you can't craft in here during an aurora because there's no lights. And I think he's right. Um, I, th I think it's too dark. Even though I don't have the materials, I think it, I don't think it will let us. Let's see, did I leave? Let's see what I have in the locker. Yeah, my brain does weird things where if I if I know people with similar names, it like jumbles them around and I get them confused. I'm really sorry about that. Okay, I didn't really leave much in here, looks like. Look at these acorns. Let's see how tired are we yeah I could craft those um, well I think I might just have to go to sleep because there there's not going to be light from the Aurora You know, it takes so much energy just to process these acorns. I'm watching our hunger meter go down. I wonder if it's actually worth it. I mean, it's worth it in the sense that we have a food source with us that um, doesn't attract wolves. So in, in that sense, it's good. But I think we're just, it feels like we're just trading one energy for another. We're trading the, the meat energy we ate for processed acorns. And of course, the acorns don't really give you that much nutrients. Uh, but we're almost done. Three, three more. And I think we'll go to bed. Last one. Okay, I think we're good for uh, going to sleep now. Let me make sure I've dropped everything we need to. Okay, I got a cured deer hide, but I don't need to drop that. All right, feels so good to be back. You know what, I'm gonna process this. We're completely out of sticks. Okay. Alright, let's get a drink and go to bed. Ten hours should do it. I, I don't think we'll last that long, but we'll try it. Alright guys, I'll see you in the morning. Hey, good morning everybody. Hope you had a nice sleep. Let's get a drink. It appears we had a very good sleep last night. 
according to our health bar. And what a nice day because uh, we've got a lot of plenty of food, at least for now, um, and water as well. How much water do we have? Do I need to pick up more? No, we're doing okay. Doing okay. Sounds like the weather's actually pretty good outside. I don't hear any um, blizzards or anything. Let's see what the weather's like. Okay, a little bit of light snow. I'm curious if we have any deer in the area. Don't see any deer. How's our meat situation? Oh yeah, we just had those small pieces of meat. Do we have any rabbits out here? take a quick look and see if we have some rabbits and then I think we're gonna get started with crafting Let's see if we can get this bow crafted up I would think the rabbits would be back Ooh, a little bit of lag there um, because it's been such such a long time since we've been back here You know, I also could, um, I could craft up a trap, the uh, snares, rabbit snares, and put those outside while we are crafting the bow. Oh, there's a rabbit right there. And guys, I have an apology to make. Um, let me tell you after I get this guy. So a uh, very keen user, or uh, viewer I should say, a very keen uh, viewer, noticed that, uh, that probably the reason why Barry has not been showing up lately when we have gone in the cave looking for Barry is because I've been calling him the wrong name. Um, his name is actually Larry. And so my understanding is Barry is like a general term for the rabbits. And Larry is a specific name for one of the rabbits. And so it'd be like me calling Kermit the Frog a frog, you know. So it's very offensive to call Kermit the Frog a frog or Larry the Rabbit Barry. So, I mean, his full name is Larry Barry. Um, but that would explain why he was not around when, when, uh, when we would go look for him. He, he was pretty... I think he's pretty offended by that. And so it's um, all the more reason for me to want to bring that carrot to him. Next time, oh, glitched out sticks. We'll take it. I do like myself some glitched out sticks. Okay, oh, I gotta remember, I'm smelling. I just picked up a rabbit. Anyway, I do have plans to bring uh, Barry, Larry, Larry the Berry. Larry Berry. Um, we do have plans to bring him a carrot. Do I, if I don't warm him up soon. And knowing me, there's a very good chance I will continue calling him Barry because I will mix up Larry and Barry and Barry and Larry. And uh, so hopefully he'll forgive me if I bring him a, a rabbit. Got four, four rocks, okay. Well, that's good. We got ourselves another rabbit. A little bit of food for later. Go inside and harvest him up. Yeah, this meat is just... There's just not very much here. These were just little pieces. Hey, Wolfie! You smell the rabbit we got? I wish there was a deer nearby. Where did you come from? That was fast. That was really fast. And no rabbit, or no uh, no deer. Um, I'm going to go inside. I think it's probably time to go inside. All right, let's harvest him up inside. Oh man, it's only 0.8. Uh, it's better than nothing. We'll use our hacksaw.
Okay. I'm trying to decide if I want to get the hide. I've already got so many hides and guts. You know the guts are probably good though. I probably do need the guts at least. Yeah. Seems like we're always short on guts. Um, let's get the guts. I'll use the hacksaw again. We might get the hide later. I'll I'll decide later how we want to do that. Okay, I think the wolf should be gone by now. It took us a bit of time to harvest. Weather looks good. There any deer? I don't see any deer. Okay. Got to plan ahead, guys, because uh, food could be a problem for us. Got to plan ahead. So I think what I'm going to do is um, we're going to craft up a uh, rabbit snare. Hey, nice. So that cut the time in half because we got the uh, we got the quality tools. Let's go for it. And let's see. Do we have any more crates? That might be. Oh yeah, we got one more. Before I make another snare, let me see how many guts we have. Yeah, I'm just going to pick all this up. See how many cured guts we have and what we need. Cured gut. I, oh gosh, I need all the cured guts we can get. So we might want to make some pants, might want to make some gloves. Um, we definitely need to make the bow. I think I better just go with one snare for now. Survival bow is going to take two cured guts. Yeah, we don't have enough guts. Because if I want to make clothing... Uh, oh, I don't have enough deer hides. Okay, i got to drop these again. We're going to need four cured guts for that. For, uh, for the boots, or let's see, the pants even. How much are those? Yeah. I will just go with one uh, snare for now. Okay, that one's cured. These are still fresh. And then are these, oh, these are still green. All right, let's drop these. Okay, we got six cured birch saplings and two cured maple saplings. Let's go place our rabbit snare and then we'll get started with crafting. I like to place it over where I saw the rabbits. And usually I can just see it if I uh, look out the, the door or whatever. Okay. Any more rabbits? Alright, let's head inside. Strong wind. Oh, and we're heavy. Okay, I'm really hoping to get this uh, this bow. Looks like we have half of the day remaining. Survival bow is going to take oh ten hours. We're not going to get that today. Oh yeah, so we got these tools. Let's see. So that takes it down to six point five hours. 9 hours, 10 hours. Alright, 6.5 is the lowest. 
Let's go for four hours. Um, let me get a drink first. Hopefully our food lasts uh, through this process. All right, let's go. Just watch that sun passing by. We might be able to get this, guys. Let's get another drink. Okay, survival bow. In 2.5 hours. And we made it. We've got the bow. Oh, that's awesome. And now, okay, we don't have any arrows yet, but at least I do have the fire hardened arrows. Um, let me see if I have any time to make these arrows. Okay, so let's, let's make some arrow shafts. I should drop, you know, I'm going to drop one of these knives before I start lowering the condition of both of them. Let's drop this one. Put it on the table. And then, let's see how many arrow shafts we can get. It's going to take 39 minutes. Might run out of daylight. Just made it. I don't think it's going to let us... Uh, make any more 45 minutes I think it's gonna cancel out but we'll try it I need anything right about now uh, too dark okay well we might have to pass some time should we go check on our snare uh, boy I'm all turned around okay so here's the window the door should be like right there. Looks like, did we get one? I think I got one. No, it's the rock behind it. Made me think that we had a, a rabbit. Well, let's check out our new bow. We got three fire hardened arrows. That's great. I'm gonna pass some time out here. Is there anything I can craft? How long is that going to take? Three minutes? All right, let's try it. And here comes the blizzard. All right. We don't have any more food. Oh, I got the canned food inside, right? We brought canned food with us. That's right. Uh, man, I wish we had more lamp oil. But I think I have the food in my inventory. Oh, I got another saw. I gotta remember to drop those. I, I will before we leave. I'll drop that. Drop these. We only have one rifle round. That's interesting. This whole time we've only found one rifle round. Okay, well, I think. Uh, We'll sleep and pass time and sleep and whatever. Oh yeah, I was gonna check the food. So we've got crummy dog food. Love that sound of the uh, can opening. It's kind of hard to hear with the storm in the background though. Okay, we ate the dog food and it didn't make us sick. That's good. So we're gonna have a second helping. This crafting is really going to make us hungry. Okay, let's drink up. Then, um, I guess we'll just sleep as long as it will let us. So I'll see you guys in the morning. Okay, we might have to pass some time here. 
It's still way too dark. Um, you know, let's go check on the rabbit on the uh, snare. And the deer are still nowhere to be seen. I think we were lucky to get those deer with the wolves on the first time. Okay, we got a rabbit. Nice, let's reset this trap. We're really gonna need this meat. Thank you, rabbit. Hopefully he's a fat one. It's a beautiful night. I'm gonna pass some time till we're cold. And we're cold. Ooh, what is that? Is that a wolf? Oh yeah, because we got the rabbit. Oh, that was dangerous. Did I say I hate being cold? Cause it... Yeah, that that could have been bad. I was holding a rabbit and passing time. <laughs> I've never felt so cold. Those poor wolves are they're like, make up your mind. Alright, how much oh we got one point two. Nice. Okay, twelve minutes. You know we gotta we gotta pass time anyway. We'll just do it by hand. I'll get a drink. So guys, I I've learned from this. It's probably not a good idea to pass time while you're holding smelly stuff. Probably not good. Let's get the gut. Okay, I'm going to drop the gut. And then... You know, it's light enough we could craft now. I think I'll set the rabbit down. Where did he go? Oh, um, let's see. I'll just do it like that. There we go. Rabbit carcass. Um, where's the meat? Oh, I want to put the meat outside, but I think I just dropped it. Alright, let's turn this on. Oh, it's under that stuff, okay. Alright, let's drop these outside. more deer it's not gonna hurt to check and rabbit trap is empty okay so let's drop these now let those cure um, let's get a drink we gotta make some arrows. Simple arrow. Uh, let's see. Tools gonna take 45 minutes. That's gonna be one simple arrow. Let's go. Oh, I'm starving. Yeah, we're getting hungry. Craft another one, 45 minutes. getting so hungry. Um, let's try it again. Ok, 
Okay. I'm gonna go check the rabbit, uh, rabbit snare. Well, I've got three arrows now. Nice. Three quality arrows. And there's nothing in the rabbit snare. But we do have this other meat. Maybe I should cook up this meat here. It's not going to give us a whole lot of nutrients, unfortunately. Um, hmm. Alright, let's go inside. I was trying to debate if there was any benefit to going in the cave. Um, there really isn't. I mean, we, I guess we could get a fire going in the cave, and the fire would fire wouldn't last any longer. But we could at least get some more um, coal. But I think I want to stay here. Let's uh, get a fire started here. How are we doing for torches? We've got four decent torches. Let's use one of our matches. Hopefully, I've got enough firewood. I want to save this. I'm going to save that for snares in the future. Possibly. I don't know. Do we have enough sticks? We got 14 plus 11 coal. I think we should be okay to get this cooked. Let's place our bowl. And then we'll get this fire started. out. Okay, let's see. Okay. Well guys, I must say, I'm surprised how many of you watched the video where we we were cooking all that deer meat back at the at the forge. I mean that's really cool. Thank you guys. I mean that was uh you know it was kind of fun. I, I actually did enjoy it. Just never know if people enjoy that kind of content or not. You got more cured saplings. Those ones are all still curing. 16 minutes and 10 minutes. Okay. Oh, we're so hungry. See how much time is left on the fire. 42 minutes. Um, I do need to craft some more fire hardened arrows. And I do happen to have five sticks. Okay. Um, the only problem is I won't have any sticks after this. Um, but let's go for it. Let's get some more fire hardened arrows. I want to make sure we're well equipped to get these ptarmigan if we come across them. Let's see what condition these pots are in. 86 and 77, so I think that one was ours, 86%. Okay, I think I'll just let the fire go out. I don't really see a need to keep it going.
can't believe how many saplings we have. Okay, I'll do a little bit of straightening up here. Cured deer hide. Let's spread these out. I can see what we have to work with. Sounds like the storm has finally passed. Okay, that one's cured. Um, okay. Back to arrows. Also, I'm curious how long it would take to craft up some pants. Let's see, deer skin pants. Oh, we didn't have enough guts. That's right. I needed another gut. I'd like to get pants as soon as possible because we all we have are these jeans. 28%. Be really nice to get another pair of pants. Good quality pants, I should say. Um, okay, let's craft up. Um, some more arrows. So we have 11 cured birch saplings. Alright, that's going to take 39 minutes. Now, ideally, or, I mean, as an option, we could just craft a bunch of shafts. And then I think out in the field, we could, I think we can actually craft... Some arrowheads without the uh, without the bench. Okay, how many arrow? We probably have like six. So let's see how many arrow shafts we have now. We have six arrow shafts. Okay. And we have six fire hardened arrows and three regular arrows. Let's get a drink. I should probably check on our trap too. Let's go see if our rabbit trap has gone off again. Check on the deer situation. I don't see any deer. And I don't see any rabbits. I thought I heard something, but it's probably just my own footsteps. Okay, back inside. Although it is a nice day. You know, I wonder if I could craft. Let's see if we can craft outside. Arrow shaft. Oh, you can craft outside. Nice. Oh, you do need the workbench. Okay, never mind. Silly me. Okay, so to actually put the arrows, let's see, simple arrows. I think you do have to even have the, you have to have the crafting bench, workbench, just to make the arrows, I believe. Simple arrow requires a workbench. Okay. And we can find workbenches out, you know, as we're exploring, but uh, I would rather get it all done right here. Man, I would really like some food right about now. How many cattails do we have? Twelve? Okay, it's not, it's not the worst. Craft some more arrows. If we have enough arrows, we could possibly take down a moose if, if a moose shows up. Okay, daylight is fading. Let's go 
Oh yeah, one thing I forgot, guys. Whenever we make an arrow, we're actually leveling up our archery skill. Look at this. We haven't shot a single arrow, and we're almost a third to level two on archery. It's pretty nice. Check on the rabbit. No. Okay, I think we'll go back to crafting. Um, you know, one thing I do want to do is get rid of some of this weight. I've got all these uh, deer hides and guts, rabbit hides. They're all cured, right? Okay. We've got the metal. Um, you can leave the maple saplings in here too. I'm gonna need to eat soon. And then I'll hang on to these until we're done. Let's put the. Uh, actually, I'll just drop the hacksaw on the table when we're when we're finished. Okay, how are these looking? Okay, well it is getting dark. I mean, we've got a little bit of time left, but I guess we'll just keep going. We've got three arrow shafts remaining. Fortunately, I think we have quite, we've got quite a bit of arrowheads, if I remember. Drink up. Let's go check on the rabbit. Also, we are increasing our cabin fever, of course, as we're doing this. <gasps> Got another rabbit. Nice. And uh, these guts are really coming in handy too. If we, the more rabbits we get, the more guts we're gonna get. Thank you, rabbit. It's pretty foggy. You know, the weather is actually not too bad. Maybe I'll harvest him right here. 1.2 kilograms, that's actually pretty good. Use the lower quality hacksaw. Looks like the fog is clearing up. I could eat a horse. Let's see him lock, so Let's chop the meat here. Check on the deer situation. Yeah, I don't see any deer. Uh, how many arrows do we have? Eight? That's enough to bring down a moose. If we want to go try to find a moose. Or a deer. We could go try to find another deer. I'm just really concerned about our food. Let's head inside. Let's get the guts harvested and curing on this rabbit before we do anything. Okay. Yeah, the guts are so valuable. Alright, I think I better eat some cattails. Let's go in the menu. Oh I did I saw some burdock there. Let's eat the burdock. And then I think we don't we have some acorns here somewhere? 
I thought I processed a bunch of acorns. Um, maybe I ate them all. What did I do with the acorns? Okay. Not sure what's going on there. Um, I did notice I have some clothing I could get rid of. Got the vest. Although, how much cloth do we have? Got one cloth. And we got the wool ear wraps. Let's leave those here and the extra boots. Okay, everything else looks okay. We've got lots of books. I should probably drop some of those. Oh, here's the acorns. Prepared acorns, large portion. So that's under crafting. So are these not food? Prepared acorns, shelled acorns must be cooked. Oh, okay, I gotta cook them first. That's right. I'm learning. Thanks for being patient. Okay, gosh, I'm tr just trying to figure out if I wanna go get some food or keep crafting. You know, we could make our way back to the, uh, the camp office. Got three cured guts. What can we do with three cured guts? Um, clothing, we need four cured guts for the pants. I forgot, okay. That's really what I'm saving up for is are the, uh, the deer skin pants. Unfortunately, these are gonna take too much time, I think, for me to stick around for them. So I might want to just take off and go to the camp office. Well, we have some daylight. Um, anyway, let's drop some of the books. Um, actually, I don't want to put them by the fire. I might think they're ac uh, actually fire wood or f fire starting materials. Um, so this one, we still have one hour left on that. I might want to read that and drop it and then keep this one. Let's drop the sewing primer for now. Man, this pack is getting kind of heavy. That here. I'm gonna drop some matches here. I'll leave 12 matches here. Drop a couple coal. Three coal, okay. All right, that's fine, we'll just leave it there. I might wanna swing by the transition cave anyway, just to gather up any coal that's shown up. And then, oh yeah, we had some extra tools. So I'm gonna leave these here. Let's drop those. I think I'll put some sewing kits in the in the locker. And then, oh yeah, we can drop that. Got 14 more arrowheads. Um, let's drop this. Okay, now, were there blue tools here? Or was it just the red tools that we have? Maybe I want to bring the tools with us. Or possibly I left the tools at the camp office. Let's see, did we leave Mount, let's see, Mountain Town, Forlorn Muskeg. We don't have any entries for, um, for the camp office 
what I should do is create one here. History Lake. And this is going to be, currently we're at Trapper's. Trapper's Cabin, we have um, one saw. I'm not sure what we're going to do with the toolbox yet. But we have deer hides. Like, I think we have like four at least, don't we? Something like, I'm just going to guess here, maybe five rabbit pelts. Um, three guts curing. We might leave some more. But I'm curious, I'm curious if we left anything at um, the camp office. I'll create, I'm going to create an entry here and just leave it blank. Okay, yeah, it's getting dark. Should I try to craft one more arrowhead? I mean, one more arrow. Ah, I dropped the tools. Ah, oh, that's right. So now <laughs> I gotta try to find the tools. There they are, quality tools. All right, that's gonna speed things up. Down to forty-five minutes. Okay, let's go for it. I need to find food. We're gonna make it. Oh, we made it. Nice. Okay, let's eat up. I don't want to lose our well-fed bonus. Um, let's just go to our food category. We'll just eat a bunch right here. Okay, guys, I think I'm going to go to the camp office because there's a there's a chance we could find a deer over there. All right, let's see if there's some water. There we go, water bottle. Where'd you go? Okay. Um, let me go to the locker. So we had a bunch of sewing kits we could leave. Got some sharpening stones. I'll take the quality tools with us. Let's leave some arrowheads. Um, how many arrows do we have now? Is that nine? Okay, we'll keep three more. How many arrow shafts do we have? I don't think I have any arrow shafts. But I'll keep two of them. Or maybe even just one. I think one arrow, sh doesn't one birch give you three arrow shafts? I think that's the case. Um, all right, we'll keep two of them. That's fine. Boy, we're almost out of coffee. I got to be careful with the coffee. I might want to fix these pants up. Tell you what, I'm going to grab the. Uh, let's grab this, and I'll I'll harvest that into cloth. Oh, the weather's not looking so good. Let's check on a rabbit uh, trap. I don't see anything. I'm going to go to the cave. We'll cook up our rabbits. We'll walk through the cave. Oh, I hear that. I hear that. I hear it. It's the moose, guys. Okay, I got the meat on me. I got to be careful. This might be just what we needed. Let me drop the meat right here. Let's 
stop attracting wolves. How are we going to do this? Got nine arrows. Hopefully that's enough. Oh, it's so dark, though. Let me get up on this rock. We need that meat so much. And the hide? Oh, we could get that hide curing. It's just so far away, though. It's the only problem. How is this going to work? It's so hard to see. He is coming closer. I can get down on this rock right here. Moose is right there in the center of the screen. Oh, he's walking though. Let's wait till he holds still. Okay, come up a little bit. Why won't it, oh, I'm crouched, that's why. Like, why won't it let me draw back? Okay, he's coming closer, a little bit. I think I scared him. Okay, I gotta go find my arrow, it's right there. It's gonna be hard to see. There it is. Look how close I was. Let's go in this little shack. See if I can find the uh, find the moose over here. I don't want to get stomped. Where are you, moose? It's so dark. Where did you run off to? Well, I hope the moon's coming out. I would drink almost anything about now. There's the moose. There's the moose, guys. We could maybe get a headshot. I'm gonna run back into the shack there. Coming? Get in there, get in there, down. He's right there. Hey, hey, hey. Let's get another shot off. What? No, no! No! Oh, gosh. No, 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 no. I. Ah, uh, what? <laughs> I didn't know he could come in here. And I tried to back up. Oh, okay. <laughs> well, I think that, um... Oh, I deserve that. I stood up and then I... I should have... Oh, man. Totally would have done that differently. Wait, why am I... Why am I, like, all... Like, woozy? We can still use it, right? Okay, we can. Uh, I'm gonna go in here for safety and then let's assess our wounds. Hopefully I don't have a bleeding wound. Broken ribs, no oh, bleeding wound, so okay. Well, that was unfortunate. I gotta play this right, guys. I gotta be safe about this. He is so close. Missed. In the butt. And he's off. <sighs> Got stomped. So close. It's like right here. Look where the blood is. I was like trying to back up. I should have just stood up 
and then ran in here. Like, I was so close. Okay, well, we are quite injured. Um, now, I lost an arrow, didn't I, just now? He ran off. Might have to come out here and look for it in the morning when we have daylight. Can I get up on that tree? I might be too wounded for this. I might be too wounded to be messing around tonight. Of course, we're taking cold damage. Um, shoot. If I sleep, is he going to disappear? I think I better go to sleep, guys. We're taking cold damage. Let's come over here. really hope he doesn't disappear. But it's late. We're, we're wounded. Let's get this meat and go inside. Alright guys, well with that, I think this is where we're going to call it an episode. <laughs> oh man, didn't go as planned. But it's not the end of the world. Not too, it's not too bad. We'll make it work. So guys, please take a minute and leave me a comment. Let me know how crazy you think that was and how, how much I did that completely wrong and what you would have done differently. <laughs> I actually do appreciate the comments. Um, or if you don't want to leave a comment, you could just leave a thumbs up. Um, but most importantly, guys, I do hope you'll come along for the next episode. With that, let's get a drink, get some food, go to sleep, drop our meat. Um, I should have left the meat outside, but that's fine. Get a drink. Eat some cattails. We definitely want to sleep for 10 hours. Let's just eat a bunch of these. Okay, so, broken ribs, by the way, oh, we do need to treat it with bandages and pain meds, or pain meds, oh yeah, bandages and pain meds, okay, let's do that. Okay, one more bandage. And we'll take some pain meds. Get a drink and sleep 10 hours. See you in the next episode, guys.